Okay, this is a hunting video. It's going to be some graphic stuff. Fair warning. Also, if you come here just only to see dead animals, there you go. You've seen them, you can click away now. But if you want to see the adventure of how this happened, and have a little bit of fun in the process, keep watching. Come on, help, 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 come on, what? Hey, dog, help, let's go, let's go, help, 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 help. Alrighty, rabbit season starts in exactly 30 minutes at 6.01. It's uh, 30 minutes before sunrise, they call it. <clears throat> and uh, rabbit season can be summed up in one word. I guess some people still camping up there. Uh, they spot I used to hunt past this uh, next road down here, past this gate near the Orange Bridge. And uh, hopefully we can get down there to it today. Hopefully this gate ain't shut. We'll see how that's going. All right, the dead gum gate was shut. Dead gum it. That does suck paying a hundred and something dollars for a license, managed marriage license, and knowing that there's thousands of other people that do the same, and they don't open these dead gum gates when it's hunting season. Uh, I don't know how long it, well, it is back in there to that spot, but it's probably a 30, 40 minute walk. Dead gum it. Uh, anyways, anyways, that's, that's a little injustice. We can talk about another day, so I got another spot we can head to and give it a try. Dead gummit. Alright, they started doing this bull crap last year. We have to fill out what you killed and tell them basically your life story and dead gum, your name and all that bull crap number. They ask a lot of stuff just to figure out how many dead animals there are. But anyways, they're supposed to give you a permit right here and there's no permit. So gates are shut, no permits. I mean, they're not doing their job and they're letting me not do my job. This kind of sucks, but uh, I'm going hunting either way. Uh, they should have had them out. They ain't even got the maps out. Like the courthouse just printed off, uh, just printed off black and white copy. So that's what everybody's rocking right now. The ones that ain't copied off the internet at the house. But that gun, it's her job to supply it. So, anyways, yeah, yeah. A little, a little outdoor department's wonderful. Okay, well, I guess uh, we got a few minutes to kill. I guess I'll go ahead and give y'all a little bit of a uh, early season tips or whatever while trying to give you some scenery. Uh, early season, they're not long hunts because it gets so dang hot so fast. In Alabama, see, season starts middle of September. I think it's too early personally, but um, there's still too many small rabbits, but whatever. But, anyways. They're not going to be long hunts because there's going to be too much pressure on the dog for being too hot. So, you know, you know, you don't need to over, you make your dogs have a heat stroke too uh, when you're going out or whatnot. <coughs> it, uh, it's so hot and so dry this time of year that the only moisture you're going to have on the ground is the morning dew. And the morning dew ain't going to last, you know, two, three hours. So you want to capitalize on that. That, that do helps the dog smell better for those of y'all that don't dog hunt. So this time of year is not long hunts. You cut them loose, hunt an hour or two, whatever, and come on back. And on top of that, it's kind of, if you kill a rabbit early, I mean, two or three hours out there in nine degree weather, that's not a good thing. So definitely gut them on time. And uh, you don't want to stay out there too long unless you got some kind of ice to put them on. But that, and also bug spray. You need bug spray. Also, there's a daggum crane right up there in that tree. Huh. If it was any, if it was any more daylight, he'd have done been flying off gawking at us. 
But anyways, when it gets daylight enough, we're gonna cut them loose. Okay, this was some weird crap. They got on something, run it up to this little, just little bit of bull crap here, and it's like they had it bait up in there. They're gonna come back anyways. They were sitting there barking like aggressively, and then a bunch of them stopped and came back. I came back over here, and I sicked them right back in it, and I thought I heard a coon growl, and it kind of took off right in them bushes where I couldn't see, and they just, whatever it was, they jumped it fresh right now. So I don't know, it was a hot, hot race when they tore out with it too. It's still going good. So I don't know what it is. I, it could be a rabbit, I don't know. I mean, I technically ain't seen it yet, but I'm gonna try to keep y'all updated. They run it maybe 7,500 yards, took it in the cattails, and now they've already come back. So I don't know y'all, I really don't. Let's, let's see what we can do here. All right, a little quick update, they run I think y'all was at the coon last. They run that in cattails and lost that, and then a couple of dogs come back. Whoops. Anyways, a couple of dogs quit on that real quick, like, which means it probably was something they weren't supposed to be running. Which I don't care if they run a coon, as long as they don't run a deer, I don't give a dang. But I still prioritize rabbits. Anyhow, this is, uh, we got on another rabbit, and man, they run this thing for about two hours. A uh, very slick rabbit, very slick rabbit. He pulled a lot of tricks. He knew a lot of tricks. He knew the backtracking. He knew to how to get a lot of distance in between him, him and the dogs, and then pull a trick. He knew how to jump on the banks. He knew a lot of stuff. And uh, if I was called the daggum dogs off of it, I got a slight glimpse of him one time. But I mean, this crap is thick. I don't know how it is on camera. It looks a lot thick. It's a lot thicker in person. That's such unusual, but anyhow, um, yeah. So we had a big old two-hour race, <laughs> and probably like a half a coon race, and that's what's going on right now. Uh, I think, I think it's getting close to eight o'clock now. A little past eight. Think they might get on another one. Sure sounds like it. Well, keep y'all updated. No joke, absolutely no joke. I cut that camera off and I came over here. It's been like 10 seconds. As a matter of fact, I recorded this bush stuff. I was standing right there, right there. And I come over and I look down and I just busted old swamp rabbit. <laughs> oh man, holy crap. That's a, he's, it's a headshot, he's, that's why he's flopping like that. But. Holy crap. I know Sainer's gonna be in the front. Heck yeah, we had, we had 22 hours on one race, had 20 seconds on another one. <laughs> You're gonna assume that's the same one. If not, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look like an idiot right now. Yeah, that's got to be him. Hey, good dog. Woo! Good babies, good babies. Easy, dead, dead, patch, dead, patch. Hey, dead, dead. Hey, hey, get off that. Dead, dead. Got some pups I ain't trained yet. It's their first hunting season. Oh, better get in here for they demolish that. Nope, oh, that gum's zoomed in too much. Oh, hey, dead, dead. Hey, that gum it. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Pat, you know better. 
Patch, you know better now. Y'all get your guts. Y'all need to be patient about it. Oh. Oh. Okay, lesson learned. I need, to, I need to handle them pups a little bit more. That's a, that's a little too brutal. That's a little too brutal. Luckily, I'm giving this to a friend of mine, so he'll, uh, he'll have to deal with the mess, but dadgummit, I want to handle them pups a little bit more. There's one of them named her Hooker. If you're wondering why I just saw all that white stuff around her mouth, that's, if I need to explain more, you're not adult enough. And where's old Tiny at? Tiny's right there in front of her. That's, that's my two new pups there. About, I say pups, they're about a year old. I ain't, I ain't a daggum pup. Heck, a dog does 90% of its growing in its first year of life, so, you know, basically like upper teenagers, if you will. Stubborn, but boy, they got a lot of drive to them. Heck, they still got them noses on the ground. Pretty little dogs. But anyways, I'm going to start handling them a little bit more and try to get a better handle on them. But either way now, I reckon the hunt's over. Because like I said, it's hot enough that uh, it ain't worth just keeping on. Especially with all the stuff that happened to this one. I wasn't able to gut it normal. I had to squeeze the guts out of it because I, I forgot a knife. I guess I'm working the bugs out of myself too. <laughs> either way, let's get on to the towels. <laughs> hey babies, hey babies, look at there, look at these. Good dogs. Good dogs. Oh. Y'all just my little vicious hellhounds, ain't you? Oh. Good puppies. Rabbit run, he runs so fast, all you see is a little white. <clears throat> Run, run, the dog's gonna get you. Run, rabbit, run, well, you better get away. Run, run, dog's gonna get you. Run, rabbit, run, well, you better get away. I don't know what the crap that is. <clears throat> Some folks say a rabbit won't squeal, but the dog's caught one in the old cornfield. One grabbed a leg, one grabbed a jaw, one grabbed his uh, and he started to squall. Run, run, dog's gonna get you. Run, rabbit, run, well, you better get away. Run, run, dog's gonna get you. Run, dogs, run, don't you let him get away. Old Cottontail, he's pretty good feed, but you better be fast on your trigger and your bead. Run, run, dog's gonna get you. Run, rabbit, run, well, you better get away. Run, run, dog's gonna get you. Run, dogs, run, don't you let him get away. Well, they didn't let that one get away this morning. <laughs> Uh, still a very, very beautiful part of the country. Another wonderful day to be living. Woo! Okay, another tip of the day. Just because you're in the truck don't mean the hunt ain't over. Uh, now, what made this legal was you ain't allowed to shoot off these roads used to be, but then they, they switched the law around and said anything designated for vehicular traffic. So... What you have to do is you gotta, they told me, which I can't find this law anywhere, but they told me years ago that the, the road itself was the right of way. So as long as y'all from the side, y'all right. So I seen this thing and the road had to park over there. I seen it run up a tree, went off to the side and then uh, shot out of a tree in the top. So I wouldn't end the road. So I guess we're gonna call that legal anyways. Huh? But anyways, so. There we go, got a squirrel and a rabbit so far, and still got some road to go. Okay, ain't very appeasing, ain't gonna mention no names, but a buddy of mine said he wanted some. Uh, you know, I told him if I killed any rabbits, he said he wanted some, so. Knocked on the door, he ain't awake, so when he walks outside, Merry Christmas, old friend. Do I know what? But so you can holler at me later if you're busy. Oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine. What you got going on? Oh, nothing, I was gonna call you back, you know? <laughs> I walked out on the porch and seen some rabbits hanging here, so I was like, well, never mind, I found them. Yeah. <laughs> Walk past them, girl. Uh, yeah, don't feel... I'm wanting want jacks for breakfast, so I got to call a finger jack. Oh, uh, bless your heart well, on you, that one. You blowed them to pieces, didn't you? No, 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 what happened? That one is uh, the dead gum dog. Do what? I understand. 
Now I was talking about uh, what's called the Degum Dogs got to it. It's it's all gonna be on YouTube. Don't worry. But uh, the dogs, I shot it, and I'm I'm used to having my regular pack of dogs, and they don't fool with the rabbit after it's dead. But I got some pups I got to train. Yeah, they had it for like ten seconds. <laughs> So I definitely got to do a little pup training, whatever. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, they made short work of that. Do what? Did they make short work of that? Ten seconds. Yeah, ten. Yeah, they're man. They got some drive. Like I ain't, I ain't really never seen drive like this in some dogs. I don't know. It's because they're so small and long legged. There's something going on there. They got a, a heap of drive, but I've still got to channel that drive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But either way. Uh, well, yeah, like I said, well, if you're going to get into anything, holler at me, dog. i got to get these dogs put up. They, uh, they're burning up in that box. Bye, right, buddy. Uh, we'll see.